Hello, this is Mark with How to Windows and How to Outlook.com. Today I'm going to show you how to build the computer we have gotten the parts for. First, look for every hole on the back of the motherboard with the metal star around it. Next, line up the gold pieces that come with the case and screw them into the case. Next, put the motherboard in and make sure to line up the back piece. You will have to take out the cases and add the one that came with the motherboard. Next, screw in the motherboard in all the places with the star holes. Now, open the latch for the CPU. The CPU has two indents on the side, as you see here and here. Those will fit into place into these two pieces on the motherboard. Go ahead and place the CPU into the motherboard. Be careful not to push down on it. Only gently drop it into place and make sure it fits snugly. Next, close the latch. Now make sure the metal piece is able to go under the screw to lock into place. To lock it, simply pull the pull up and under the piece designated. Now to add the fan, just make sure to line up the pegs with the ones on the motherboard. Also, make sure the wire is where the plug is going to be for the motherboard. Now push in each peg until you hear the click. It's good to go in an X formation. This is to prevent one side having more pressure than the other. Now attach the wire to the motherboard located here. Next, make sure you have four screws for the power supply. Now to insert the power supply, make sure the fan is facing down away from the top of the case. Once again, screw in the screws in the X formation. Now attach the power to the motherboard. This is the largest plug. This will go here. Ensure that it clicks. Now for the wireless card, this will go in the extra PCIe slot located here. Put the antenna through the back of the case and push it into the socket. Then screw it in at the top of the metal bracket. Next is the RAM. They will be inserted here. First open the black locking pins and gently place the RAM inside. Do not push it in yet. Line it up so it is straight, then push down on the two ends. Make sure both sides clicked into place. Now the GPU. This will go into the designated PCI Express blue slot. Line it up with the back of the case and simply push it into place. Ensure the bottom of the blue port clicks into place. Then screw it in. Now to power the GPU, find the plug that looks like this and plug the one with 6 pins into the GPU and the one with 8 into the power supply. Next, pop off the guards for the CD-ROMs and insert the CD-ROMs into the bay. Here is a front view. Once they are in the bay, line up the screw holes with the CD-ROM holes. Then lock it into place by turning the dial so that it is vertical. Then place the front cover back on. Next, insert the hard drive into the bottom slot, above the bottom bay, and line up the holes once again, and lock it into place. Next, we have the power button, the reset button, and front lights. To know where to put these, consult the motherboard manual, or pay close attention to the color of the wires, and where I am placing them. This is different with every motherboard. Next is to attach the USB for the front panel. This is located on any one of these three ports. Next, we will need to attach the SATA or the data cables for the hard drives and CD-ROMs. 
they plug into the motherboard here. Plug them into the hard drive in the slot on the right side. The piece will look like this. It plugs very easily into the slot and clicks into place. Do this for all of your hard drives and CD-ROMs. Next, we need to power the drives. To do this, get the cables that look like this and plug them into the drives. Make sure the other end is plugged into the power supply. Next, to make the cables more manageable, twist tie them. Then place the side panel back on the case and plug in all the wires. Wait for the beep. With this specific motherboard, it will beep for each USB attached, so don't worry if there is more than one beep. Make sure the fans are spinning and then install your operating system.